Quantum computing represents an emerging technology where the performance could be exponentially better than what's capable today from a classical computer. So what makes quantum computing different from conventional computing? In a conventional computer, you have zeros or ones. A conventional computer is sort of like a light switch, on or off. A transistor would be zero volts or one volt. A coin would be heads or tails, like you flip a coin. Now imagine if that coin is spinning in the air. While it's spinning, is it heads or tails? Is it neither? Is it both? Well, this is one of the principles of quantum mechanics that allows us to have a quantum computer. In reality, that coin is in multiple states at the same time. This is really what's known as superposition within quantum mechanics, that a particle can be in one of multiple states at the same time. And we can make use of that increased amount of information to help us perform calculations on a much grander scale. It's exponential based on the number of coins. If we had multiple coins, two coins, for example, we could simultaneously represent four states. If I had 300 coins, threw them into the air, and asked somebody to explain how many states I have, I have more states than there are atoms in the universe. Quantum computing is that powerful. Quantum computing is really at a research phase right now. Not everything is known. There's lots to be invented. So what's holding us back from having a quantum computer today? Well, there are a few things. The first, as I described it, is these states, these quantum states are very fragile. Knowing how to increase their lifetime and save the information long enough to do useful calculations is extremely important. These quantum bits, or qubits as they're called, can collapse very easily. So in reality, we're gonna need probably a million of them uh, to do something really compelling. Quantum computers are particularly suited to optimization problems, sequencing problems. A lot of what NASA does, for example, when they put people into space. The first applications of a quantum computer are likely going to be in the chemistry, materials, or medical fields. And so the hope is that with this technology, that in about 10 to 12 years, we have a quantum computer that's capable of doing something that no computer on Earth can do in any amount of time. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.